Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Falcon number 8230-72MC. This is a replacement metal cover for the 8200 series, the um, pull side mount automatic low energy door operator. So the 8200 is available in two configurations and it's a really simple and straightforward low energy operator. Um, before we get to what it is and why you would use it, let's just take some dimensional properties of the cover. Uh, by the way, it weighs about 4.27 pounds, about four and a quarter pound. Overall length, about 26 inch. Overall height, about four and a half. Overall projection, about four and three eighths. That cutout for the arm is certainly going to be centered um, in the cover, and the reason I say that is because I know this unit is not handed. Oops, sorry about that. Thir 13 inch to the center line of that preparation is where that is what I'm struggling to show you right here. Okay, we always get photographs of this label. If you see this black label on your unit, and it says Allegiant on it, model 8200 series, it says on there. There's an image down below which we'll take a look at. Uh, so that's a replacement metal cover. It does include screws to get it refastened. Now let's talk about why you would use it, what it is, what it comes from, and just some background information on the entire 8200 series. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Now, why would you need to order this? Most likely vandalism, quite frankly. Um, someone pulls on the unit, uh, tries to get up to the cover and damages it, maybe graffitis, the unit itself, dents, things of that nature. That would really be the reason that I see people purchase these. They just become damaged with time, uh, is the bottom line. And it's nice that they make the cover available as a separate standalone product. Um, it is not very common at all for us to sell this. Uh, fairly, with, with predictable repeatability, we sell parts for this 8200 series. The most common, most definitely, are the arms, the push arm and the pull arm. The arms are the most common. After that, just last week, I sold the control board for it. There is a situation where the unit used at the San Diego Zoo, and um, it's about five years old, the client said. And the problem they had is as soon as the door opened, it immediately started to close. As soon as it opened, it closed. There are potentiometers on that control board. One of those, of course, is hold open time. And before we understood what model it was, we didn't know at all uh, that it was a Falcon 8200 series. Said to the client, well, let's, you know, do you have a receiver on there? You know, let's change the relay on the receiver. As you turn the potentiometer, and I'm thinking it's a BEA relay, um, he says, the client says it just spins. We get them sent out a brand new BEA relay, a 10BR3, I believe. Swaps that out, but I don't believe he swaps it out. I believe he gave that to someone else who then did nothing. <laughs> Called back and said, no, that didn't work. I'm like, well, okay, now it's time. You got to pull the cover off because that was the initial problem, getting images of it. Pulled the cover off. The client sent me that. Um, that's that. Then I knew what we were dealing with. Um, that potentiometer on the circuit board, the client did tell me that it just turns and turns and turns. So there's clearly some sort of fault there somehow. Um, I was actually very surprised that they had five years of faithful service out of a low energy operator for this application. Um, and I believe it's being used in just a volume that it wasn't really intended to be used in, uh, in my opinion. Generally, if you have a high volume Tra amount of traffic through an opening, you'd probably use something a bit more robust. Uh, but this has lasted five years. And while the control board wasn't inexpensive, um, that control board has been sent to the client, and we most certainly imagine that this has solved the problem. 
Now, let's switch to the screen view and just take a closer look at some of the background information when it comes to this 8230 metal cover. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at the images that we have. There's the unit itself. What you would see if you were um, looking straight up, I suppose. There's that label, 8200 series. That's, you know, a legion. That certainly tells us what we're dealing with. That cutout for the arm, the end view, and then your screw package that's there. Okay, now there is extended description information here, and that all belongs to the entire unit itself. So this is a part for an auto operator, replacement metal cover for the 8231 pull side mount. There are three documents here, the product brochure, the cut sheet, and the installation instructions. All of those are going to be able to tell you everything that you need to know about this unit, along with a video from Falcon down here discussing it. I'll leave that to you to discover. Let's just quickly look at the uh, these documents. Product brochure, it's going to be an overview of the system. Um, actually, it's an overview of all of their um, closing devices. There we go. 8200 series. And just a quick summary will allow you to review the overall characteristics of the system. I think what's most important to know is, and this was the receiver that we had sent the client. It wasn't this um, 8310865. It was a 10BR3, which is certainly what this is. The point of the matter is you have a push and a pull system. Okay, We are doing the 8230 rather than the 8240 system. And that is 82... Forty is the push, 8231, or 8230 is the pull system. So we're doing a pull side application here, apparently. And for me, the question becomes, is, is the cover the same for either of these two units, push or pull? Um, it's not that is not indicated in the product brochure. Um, and something tells me they're simply the same. The cut sheet, let's take a look at that, and we're going to do a little deeper dive into whether or not that is the same cover. Uh, cut sheet is a summer summarized version of the product brochure. Now, the installation instructions may give us more information uh, about the cover. They list the control and the gear, the control boxes and the gear boxes for them. You have your push and your pull assemblies, different part numbers. Then you have two different arms, pull arm, push arm. Um, definitely going to go with the arm, the cover being the same. This is an overview of how you'll install the unit. Your unit's already installed, so this won't likely be of any importance to you. And I don't see, and I'm scanning to see if they mention the cover being different, and I don't see that. However, if you're working on the cover, you might need some troubleshooting. Closure adjustment is um, step six down here. Talking about what the potentiometers do on the unit. Hold open. That's the potentiometer that the client believes he has trouble with because it doesn't hold open at all. And I'm sure that that range is likely 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, one second up to 30 seconds. Okay. Now, the cover. Is there more than one? Let's click on the link to the manufacturer's page here. And from here, we can pull up not only all of the 
Falcon products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation as seen here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, but the price list. And from in this document, let's do a control F for 8230-72MC. And we ought to be able to get to that cover. Yeah, they do list different covers for each series. There's an 8240-72MC and an 8230-72MC. Are they physically different? I am... I'm tempted to say that they're not physically different at all. Um, why they use two different part numbers. I think just to stick with the logic of how LCN does it, where if you have a 4041 closer, all of their parts are going to start with 4040 dash. So I think they're sticking with that same logic when it comes to it's an 8230 series uh, unit. So, you know, the part is a 72 MC regardless of the series. So, um, You'll order arms from doormatic closers from a Legion, their SC70, etc., SC60, and they're the same arm on all three of their door closers. The part number changes, but the latter half stays the same, like they do here. So, not knowing positively that they're different covers, order it based on the application that you have, push or pull. Um, but my strong temptation is to say that they're the same closer cover. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Um, different finishes. Um, I did forget to determine if different finishes are available in this. Uh, there is most definitely only one finish listed in the price list so you can have any finish you like as long as it's sprayed aluminum is is the answer to that let's let's look at the cut sheet yeah it's not going to be in the cut sheet product brochure the how to order matrix indicates finish only aluminum is made that's it you're not going to see this in a dark bronze finish should be fairly easy for them to do that um, but nonetheless aluminum is what it is any questions on the 8230-72mc don't hesitate to reach out to us uh, Allegiant has exceptional technical support folks whether it be Falcon or Doramatic or LCN Schlage, Von Duprin, Glenn Johnson, Ives, Zero there are real superstars in each of those departments that I have personally communicated with numerous, countless times, and they really just get it right all the time. And to them for that, I say thank you. Any questions on this or any other Falcon product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.